So, you have a Christmas movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So it's gonna be about this little kid, right? And he's not so sure he believes in Santa Claus anymore. Oh, very sad. But when he gets into a stranger's vehicle in the middle of the night, his whole life's gonna change. Oh, God. No, in like a fun Christmas way. Oh, okay, thank goodness. You see, this train called the Polar Express shows up, and this conductor guy's like, all right, get on board, we're headed to the North Pole. That's where Santa lives. It is, yeah. So this hero boy's gonna get on the train, and he's gonna meet some of the other kids that are on there. There's this girl child, and there's this know-it-all kid who's just gonna be the worst character ever put to screen. Oh, the worst? Yeah, just the most annoying and arrogant kid you can imagine. People might try to attack the theater screens, to be honest. Jeez. Anyway, so then the conductor conductor is gonna sing a song about hot chocolate while eight men with identical faces pour some for all the kids. Oh, is this a musical? Occasionally, sure. So what kind of stuff is he gonna sing about hot chocolate? Not just the standard hot chocolate stuff, like, you know, he should never ever let it cool. You need to, you gotta let it cool a little bit. Nope, nope, you drink it scalding hot. All right, I mean, you seem pretty passionate about this for some reason. Yeah, so then the little girl wants to bring some boiling hot chocolate to this poor boy, Billy, who's sitting in another part of the train. Right. And so the conductor brings her there, right? but then Hero Boy finds her ticket and he's like, oh no, I gotta get this to her. Okay, but she's like with the conductor, right? That doesn't seem like it would be a problem. Well, we're gonna pretend like it's a problem and then Hero Boy's gonna go to bring it to her, but it's gonna get caught in the wind. Uh... Oh no, I guess? Yeah, so then this ticket flies up into the air for a little bit, and then next to some wolves, and then picked up by an eagle who brings it over a waterfall. Then a baby eagle tries to eat it and spits it up, and so then it becomes a snowball. Then it hits the front of the train, then a hobo's face, and then back into the train car and stuck to a vent. It's gonna take several minutes. Okay, so it's just, it's back in the train now. It's back in the train now. So, okay, so, so what was that about? Well, this is actually based on a kid's picture book that's like 30 pages long, so I gotta, I gotta fill up the runtime somehow. Oh, okay, gotcha. So now the conductor has randomly decided to ask the girl for her ticket, but she doesn't have it, so he's like, okay, well, come with me, little girl. Okay. And that freaking know-it-all kid, he's like, you know, on the Polar Express, if somebody doesn't have their ticket, it's standard procedure to, you know, throw them off the back of the train. Oh, my God. But then Hero Boy finds her ticket, and he's like, oh, no, I gotta get this to her. I feel like, didn't we just do this? We did, we just did, but this time the boy's not gonna drop the ticket. I see. So he goes to the top of a moving train in a blizzard and has a conversation with a hobo up there. What? Yeah, there's a hobo up there. He's got a fire going. He's probably a ghost. He's probably dead. Who's to say, though? Oh, what is going on? I don't, I don't know. Things, for sure. All right. I mean, yeah, okay. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I thought we could get Tom Hanks to play practically all these characters. What? Yeah, just Tom Hanks the whole dang thing. Just have one guy play multiple characters? It's kind of a weird gimmick. Hey, guys, I'm doing a little coffee run for the office. You guys want a coffee? Oh, no, thank you. Yes, I do. Scalding hot directly into my mouth. What? Don't you let it cool. Don't let it cool at all. I, I don't, he seems to be into that. Okay. Anyway, I figure it could be nice to have him play a bunch of characters, because it kind of plays into the idea that maybe this whole thing is a dream. Uh Oh. Except it's absolutely not a dream. I'll get to that later. Oh, what? Anyway, so then terrifying dead hobo Tom Hanks skis this little kid down the train before he gets absolutely crushed by a tunnel. Oh, not getting crushed by a train tunnel is tight. For sure. And then he finds the little girl and it turns out she's just been put in charge of the train. So everything, you know, everything's okay now. Wow, so stuff is just kind of happening, huh? It is, yeah, for sure. Wow, 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 wow. So then the train almost falls into a lake for a second and the little boy and the little girl go talk to that poor kid, Billy. Oh, they do. And he actually sings a song because sometimes this is a musical, remember? Right. And so he's singing about how Christmas doesn't work out for him and Santa never goes to his place and he doesn't get gifts or anything. If Santa's real, why doesn't he bring this kid toys at Christmas? Well, see, the thing is, this kid is visibly poor, right? So... You know, that's kind of gross. Santa hates that. Fair enough, so I guess it's gonna be tough for them to cheer this kid up. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, the little girl starts singing about how, no, actually, Christmas is terrific because kids get gifts. It's great. The kid just said he doesn't get that stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, well, somehow it cheers him up a bit. Okay. So eventually they get to the North Pole, which is just a weird, hauntingly empty industrial city. Very Christmassy. Yeah, so they wander around this eerily empty place for quite some time, but eventually they end up in a massive massive crowd of elves, and they're freaking out because they're gonna get to see Santa. Don't they see him, like, every day? Well, they're still pretty pumped about it, but then the boy, he can't see Santa, so he's like, well, what the heck? I can't even, I can't see anything. Okay. And he picks up this little sleigh bell off the ground, and he can't even hear it ring when he shakes it. Oh, how come? Well, because he doesn't believe yet, you know? That's his arc. He has to believe. He's literally standing in the North Pole, surrounded by elves. Yeah, that's not cutting it for this kid. He's still like, eh. 
Maybe not. Oh, very high standards. But then he does hear it ring and he gets to see terrifying Tom Hanks Santa Claus. Oh, well, you know, good for him. Yeah, and now it's time for Santa to give the first present of Christmas time. And he picks the hero boy to get the broken sleigh bell that he found on the floor. About the best gift. Well, that's what the kid wanted, you know, it's symbolic. Anyway, he immediately loses it. Oh. Yeah, kid had a hole in his pocket, so then he's all sad on the train ride home. Wow, well, okay, yeah, no, that didn't work out at all. So then the conductor drops him off and he's like, you know, one thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. What is, of course it matters where the train's going. Yeah, definitely, of course, yeah. What is this guy talking about? I don't know, I just felt like I needed some kind of line there. Didn't give it a ton of thought. Fair enough. And then that hobo waves goodbye and turns to snow. Oh yeah, what was all that about anyway? Unclear, maybe this is all a dream. But you said it's not. It's not, no, because the next morning the kid opens up a gift and it's the bell he lost. So, okay, so what the, the Don't think about it too much, I didn't. Okay, I won't. So how are we gonna shoot this movie? This sounds complicated. Oh, well I figure we could animate it, you know, but Make it fully motion captured. That's never been done before. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like technology's not quite there yet. Has the potential to be a little terrifying. Yeah, but maybe in a fun Christmas way. Might have a lot of dead-eyed characters and Uncanny Valley vibes. Well, look, if it is too Uncanny Valley looking and people get a little freaked out of it, we won't do it again, you know? We'll have learned our lesson. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Or maybe we'll do it again. I don't know. What? Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know, press the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment and all the YouTube standard things. Also, let me know if you have ideas for other movies I should do pitches for. As always, check back soon for a new video. Bye bye